Hey guys, welcome back to the outpost and thank you for stopping by. Um, as you can see, I've got a load of plywood and I have also the tin, the, the metal that goes up on the roof, uh, along with uh, some ridge caps and some fascia metal to uh, cover my fascia just so that it protects it, and several bags of screws. Uh, the funny thing was, is as I uh, I had already got the plywood loaded up on top of the tin because I actually picked it up first and uh, had those straps, I mean, cranked down really tight, but I guess it was stacked up high enough that when I made the corner coming out of the hardware, I probably had 20 pieces slide right off the edge and went out in the four lane. And of course, there were, thank goodness, uh, there was three guys stopped, pulled their trucks across the lane, jumped out, and we had that up probably in a matter of two minutes. But uh, yeah, it was kind of crazy. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. Accidents uh, can happen even if you're trying to be safe. So anyway, but got all that done, did get it out here. I am stacking it up now, I'm trying to stack it out of the way because I'm going to take that uh, tractor boom that I actually made. I'm going to have some little uh, angles or feet welded up on top of it. That way I can stack several sheets of plywood up and lift it up on to the roof without having to try to muscle those things up a ladder. So as soon as I get all that undone, I'm going to run up to my neighbor's house and see if we can't, uh, like I said, weld some pieces on there that can help me get this stuff up on the roof. So let me get back over here and finish unloading this. Thought I would show you the uh, tin that I got. Of course, it's all dirty from that, but it's a sand color, and I think it's going to really look good against the uh, dark wood and then the lighter siding once I get it on there. I also got some of this felt that was recommended instead of the uh, black stuff um, to go down, and of course, like I said, I got. Uh, several bags of screws and you know I have seen a lot of metal uh, where these screws were in this ridge but that voids the warranty um, these screws actually go in the valley in order to maintain the warranty they got a little rubber piece on them because I have seen them put in here uh, even though you might think that water would run down and get under the screw it actually doesn't and putting them in the ridge would be better but that like I said that does void the warranty and the little rubber piece doesn't sit down there really good and it can actually draw this down flare out this ridge here where um, it doesn't look good I am making some walkways um, I'm actually using two two by sixes this way and then I'm going to put a two by six this way and screw them together and that one that's uh, vertical will actually help to keep it from bowing. Um, I made one a while ago out of a two by four and it actually worked really well. Uh, no more than my son and I weigh when we get up there it just slightly was bowed when I put it down here on the bottom. Um, it's really windy today. Anyway so the other two I decided I'm going to make them out of two by sixes. So what I'm doing is I've got one carried over here, I'm going to carry another one over here, and then I'll show you what I'm doing.
so what I ended up doing is I took two 2x6's laid them flat took another 2x6 placed it vertical and then I took a 2x4 just to keep the ends together and also three inches from the back so that if it slides this way it will bump up against my main beam and it won't go anywhere they won't slide off of either end uh, but this vertical one will keep it from bowing and these two right here will give us uh, enough room that we can actually walk on so I'm gonna go get the tractor and I'm gonna try to lift this up top um, because that other one was a little bit difficult to get in there and I know that this one's gonna be heavier Well, I've got one more to make. This is my last one. It's actually uh, 12 foot 1 and 5 eighths between the posts. So what I did was I allowed it to go over 3 inches on each side that gives me a fairly substantial lip to set on and then I put that two before like this across it inside about three inches uh, that way it will stay there and it won't shift backwards and forwards and then the other one that I made standing this uh, two by six up in between them that made it a lot uh, sturdier walking back and forth it didn't give as much as that one with the two before although it wasn't bad it probably gave maybe a half an inch um, but the two on the outside will have the two by six so um, it's going to make a nice walkway and then all i'll have to do is move it to the other side when i get the rafters up on the front side
All right, let me show you what I've got here. I've got this walkway all the way down. So yeah, that's gonna make it quite nice up here, but since there's no handrail, but yeah, that's gonna make it really nice because we probably could have tried to work it from uh, the center beam down here to the edge, maybe on ladders, but it would have been a whole lot easier to um, do it off the walkway, although it took me uh, a little better than a half a day to actually make those. Uh, with some other things that I've been doing, but I think we're gonna be better off for it in the long run because it'll probably go a whole lot quicker. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get on off this ladder and start picking up my tools. But I hope you enjoyed this little video on making those walkways and uh, getting the metal and the uh, plywood up here for the roof. It's kind of exciting being able to at least get that far. Yeah, it's going to be quite nice having that up there where we can actually walk back and forth. Um, we'll be able to get that nailed in in that purlin and then work this one from a ladder and probably the other side from a ladder too. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to move that walkway all the way to the back and uh, to get that center ridge beam. But anyway, it's going to make it a whole lot better. Again, my son and I, we thank everybody for supporting the channel and tuning in. Don't forget about our giveaways or once a month. So I'll be picking my son up Monday and uh, we'll be going to have a full week. I've taken off a few days uh, trying to get the rafters up and the uh, sheeting down and then the tin on top of that. So we've got a, our week's work cut out for us. Anyway, everyone, have a great evening. Take care of yourselves and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the outpost in the future.